you'll notice in the city, and you would have noticed already, that we've we've been quite effective. I think, Daniel, we've uh, we've cleaned up some obvious uh, eyesores in the city, the Sydney and Melbourne buildings. We've uh, got right on top of the graffiti in those areas. Uh, we've made a point of removing posters uh, the moment they appear. There's a place for posters, and it's not on the uh, facades of those buildings or indeed any any uh, building um, and even in the laneways behind the, the buildings where uh, graffiti is uh, uh, tagged on, on different buildings what we've done is encourage uh, artists to um, make a mural uh, or, or a piece of uh, public art and um, curiously, and to their credit, the taggers respect that, and then they won't over-tag that. But it's a it's a work in progress, Manuel. It's going to take some years, uh, but I think Canberra is more than ready for it. Canberra CBD Limited want to make a difference in the city, but we need to work with the various arms of the ACT government to make that happen. We work with TAMS, we work with the City Rangers, with Roads ACT and with the Australian Federal Police, all working together to make improvements happen in the city. This is Win News. And the bold new plan to beautify Civic. A group of Canberra property owners have come up with a novel way of tackling illegal graffiti. It's all part of an effort to make the city centre more attractive. Over the next two months, these walls in Riverside Lane will be transformed. The graffiti, you just can't keep it away. You know, you paint the walls and next thing you know there's more graffiti up. By doing these murals, you keep the graffiti people away. There's respect for the mural art that, that we're putting up. It's an attempt to brighten up the CBD. It will soon be a magical scene of optical illusions with Machu Picchu and an English garden. Here we have what is a rather drab courtyard, just the backs of buildings, and we're going to turn it into a fabulous landscaped area. The idea was to green up the space kind of make it a false garden. It's already proven to be successful in two illegal graffiti hotspots, on a wall near the bus interchange and on shutters in Bunda Street. Basically just being opposite of what, what the surroundings are, it's so urban, um, just wanted to create a really nice space so people can look at it from the side and just come into it. They're hoping to do projects in Braddon and Turner next. Lisa Mosley, Win News. Beating the graffiti artists at their own game. They've attracted criticism in the past for their dingy appearance, but one of Civic's laneways is getting a much needed makeover. Riverside Lane is being transformed with the installation of this mural. The $50,000 artwork has been funded through a levy on Civic property owners. The aim is to give the area a spruce up while also deterring graffiti vandals. We can clean it off and we can paint it white, but what happens when you put an artistic mural up is the graffiti taggers stay away. And plus you have this fabulous, you know, artwork. The ACT government is also working with young street artists to reduce graffiti vandalism and is trying a similar approach in other parts of Canberra. Uh, initially we trialled uh, painting some of the, uh, the uh, uh, traffic light uh, boxes. That proved very successful. So we've now expanded that to a whole range of infrastructure sites and you can travel around most suburbs and see examples of some of these, uh, these graffiti murals going in. The Riverside Lane project will take two months to complete. <laughs> 